because it's one, two, three to one. Three to one. Words, I'm fitting the bottom drains. Got to glue up the end of these. What I'm doing at the moment, use that. Give it a good old clean up on a little jig. Onto my patio. Um, you got to be quick and you can't make mistakes. Oh, there's my dry mix all done. I got my old trowel. These are all glued in. The 90s are glued. So I've cemented this one in. I've left myself loads of room underneath. Looks like it's just started to rain. Both have ball valves on. Like that, you tell someone something, teach a man to fish. How's this saying go? Get around. Look at it, it's blowing a absolute hoolie here. Finish off me morning cuppa. And uh, lock them back up. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Got loads of things to do. Really windy today, so I apologise about the wind noise. Fitting the bottom drains. Just making sure I'm 100% right. It's got to be right. If it's not right, there's no point doing it. I'm going to go out, show you the koi, show you what's going on there, and then we'll be back. I'm just in the middle of setting up the garden, and then we'll be back, and I'll explain what we're doing today. Just a real quick update on uh, how all the koi doing. Lovely, fresh, cold morning this morning. I'm roughly feeding. I don't know if anyone uses these maggot pots. I'm feeding about a tub of these every day. Just got my trickle going into the pond constantly. Yeah, everything seems to be doing all right. What I've, what I've been doing is keeping this trickle going like this all the time. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update because there's a few people been a bit concerned that all the fish, are they all okay? Are they all right? And uh, yeah, they're completely fine. One thing I've got to do as well is change this tea piece. I very much appreciate all the comments that come in telling me that I got it the wrong way around. I didn't really know what I was doing when I fitted this sediment chamber, but what it is, I understand what people were saying now because I didn't quite understand because what's happening, I'm putting a gully drain on top of there, but I get what people are on about now. So where this tube runs this way, it needs to run this way for the fact of that's the way the water flows. Even though I have got it on an angle, it probably won't make any difference because that angle is going down anyway and it's not going to take massive amounts of water, this gully drain. It's only literally going to take a skim off the top, but still it's not right. It needs to be popped off of there, popped off of there, spin it round and then it's back right again. But very, thank you very much everyone who's pointed that out because like I said, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing, but now I completely understand where it's going. It's like that. You tell someone something, the saying go, give a man a fish, he'll eat for the day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Happy days. Thank you very much, everybody. Right, let's crack on. So today, this here needs to be put in. I need to cut around the pipes. I need to part cement this in. I still got to fit the airline. I've also still got to glue up the end of these. Worked out the distance of how far these have got to be apart. What I've done, I've made sure I've left enough room so I can get a ball valve on the end of there. Like I said, I do apologise about the wind today, but it's just crazy. So what I've done, I've measured this in effect will be my pond wall, which is measured all correctly. But what I've done, I don't know if you can see, I've just put two lines, marker lines, so I know where to pop these pipes off, glue them up, and then sit everything back in place. But I was making sure everything was level across there, equal distance there. This wind is terrible today. I'm, I do apologize. Look at it, it's blowing a absolute hoolie here. Next door's flowers coming off, crazy. I'm just about to glue on my 90. I've got my pipe marked there and there. But what I've done, I've used a bit of sandpaper. I've given it a little bit of a burr off. I've done the same to the inside of that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this liquid, which is a cl cleaning fluid. I'm going to use that, give it a good old clean up. Then I'm going to put some of this weld on. And what I'm going to do is as I'm going to push that on to make sure it goes bang on nice, I'm literally just got myself set up on a little jig onto my patio with a bit of wood in behind the back just so I don't damage anything. And then that will allow me to sit on the pipe and I can really push that on in one solid hit. Because anyone that does any gluing, they all know this stuff sets off instantly almost. So um, you got to be quick and you can't make mistakes. So I need to make sure it's bang on right. I got myself the old, I ain't got a lump hammer, but I've got a little uh, axe there. The reason why I've got that. It should just pop right on, but if I if I need just to put it on and give it a, a little tap, just to get it which way I need to get it, it'll be uh, 
it's there just in case because you literally got seconds but hopefully i'll be able to slide it on i won't be able to show you that bit because i'm on my own and i'm filming on my own but that's my job that's what i'm doing now so bit of an update these are all glued in the 90s are glued what i'm doing at the moment i'm just fitting my airlines so eventually the reason why i'm doing it like this i want them to come up in the exact same point against the the back of the pond wall inside my filter house these two pipes will come up in the exact same place both have ball valves on to shut the air off if i ever need to and the main reason why i've got these in the exact same place because my wall for my filter house will run up through here and these will plumb dead straight against the wall and then i can pin these against the wall so i've got to mark all these up now with a marker pen get them all glued and it's another job done happy happy days right then so you'll have to bear with the wind noise a second but it took a bit of working out but i think i'm there so i've made sure that these two drains are dead level like so lovely and plumb that way and that way i've also made sure that there's a slight drop off into both the drains let me just show you that a second just where the bubble is you can see it there's about five mil gap underneath there i've done the same to this side like so exactly the same and then if i spin you around i'll go over this way exactly the same there took a bit of working out but you better to check and check and check and check I've also made sure that these two pipes, the exact distance apart, they need to come up 300 mil up out the ground so then they can go directly into my drum filter that I'll be getting. I've also made sure they're dead level. I've made sure that these pipes are dead level down here, which will be the back of the pond wall. So these in effect, one will be clipped off higher than the other, but for now I'll just stop dirt going down there, put a night in. But these two will be pinned directly against the filter house wall. One will be higher and then both of the lines will run across the filter house wall. Um, what else have I got to show you? There, pretty much now, everything's glued up. Everything's in place. I'm going to cover these as well. I've got to put the, the shoots out for that. I haven't made up my mind if the ball valves are going to sit like here and here or if I'm going to lay them flat before they go into the drum. I haven't made my mind up that yet. I'm going to wait until I get the drum. I might just put stubbies up and, well, I'll get to that when I get to it. But where I'm at at the moment, what I need to do now to make sure I can't completely concrete them in at the moment, what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got the gully dug out, both sides. I'm going to put a mountain of concrete around there, 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 and there. And then also around the drain itself to stop it from moving i'll put some blocks on it i'll let that set for a week and that should stop any movement that's my plan it should stop any movement whatsoever but at the same time then i can offer one of these down over the whole entire pond the base and what that will allow me to do then is that i'll be able to spray paint out what needs cutting cut all of that lay it in on top of some blocks like this so it's just hovered halfway up between the concrete and the the base let me just get it done because i've got to think of these things and i've got to show you at the same time it's noisy and i haven't done much filming today because it's been absolutely crazy a lot of working out to do but you've got to make sure these jobs are done right if they're not done right you'll end up kicking yourself later on you're better to check three or four times that's what i've been doing for the last two hours I've been measuring that. I mean, you adjust that by five mil that end. Time you get down here, you've moved it a hell of a long way. So you need to make sure you're bang on. Everything needs to be absolutely prim and proper. If it's not prim and proper, then it ain't gonna work. The pond wall will finish to the back of here. I've left myself two inches for the thickness of the ball valve. So didn't wanna be left room if I do make up my decision of putting them there. I didn't wanna not have enough room to put them there. So that's why I've done it like this. But one job at a time and we'll just keep plowing on. 
But I'm going to get these concreted up now. Do a mix. Look at the weather like. Not the best of days today. But I need to make sure it's done. Because if it comes in with a rainstorm. Things ain't going to be good. Let's have a mix up. Let's get some cement out. Have a mix up. Lay it down on the floor. Sort of, sort of a little pile up. And just get these pre-cemented in. Oh, I got my old trowel. One thing for sure. I'm going to have to get some building materials. Because I've only got small little trowel like this. It'll be enough to do what I've got to do here for these drains. But laying all my blocks and everything. I'm going to have to get hold of B&Q or Home Base or eBay or something. And order myself up some tools. So I can do everything. Me skimming off. Me floating. And well, I just need to get some. I'm only going to need them once. But I might have a route round the farm. See if I can find something. Because I don't really want to spend money on tools that I'm only going to use once. But it'll do for now. So you know why they call it three to one? Because it's one, two, three to one. Three to one. Oh, there's my dry mix all done. No time to add some water and just slowly mix it up. What I do, I add a bucket. Then I add half a bucket of cement. Then I add a bucket of sand. Half a bucket of cement. Another bit of sand and mix it up as I go. I'm going to uh, chuck some water in there. When I do the full foundations, don't worry, I ain't mixing it all up by hand. I'm only mixing this up by hand because I haven't got myself a diesel cement mixer that I'm renting. I ain't renting it just to do this little job. I'll get this done, let that set for a week. Next weekend, bang it all out. Right, so I've cemented this one in. I've left myself loads of room underneath. I've just gone through all the structure points. So I've cemented it in here. I row all the way round, like so, and then I've done the same to the end bit, and that should help keep it in place. When I come to cement, I'm going to, when I do the whole lot, I'll put a couple more blocks on here, just to make sure everything stays dead still, but everything's level still, but it looks like it's just started to rain, so I'm going to cover that up with some sheets, and it'll help it set off, but it's in place now, happy days, I'll get it covered, and then I'll move on. Yeah, so as you can see, to be fair, I've been absolutely really lucky today filming everything that I have. I've managed to, uh, I can't show you very well. Let me just open this door. It's a bit windy, but I've managed to, I've just put some old dumpy bags over the cement that I've put in. Just to purely let it help it set off and keep the, anything mud and rubbish going in the drains and making it that little bit messy when there's no need for it to be when I got spare bags. So I've put spare bags. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to put that down into place, but it don't matter. One thing I forgot to do, which is not a massive issue, but I forgot to do it. I forgot to lay, I had an old blue sheet up there and I was going to lay that down in the pond. I might still lay it down and just cut out around the pipes, but <laughs> I was meant to lay that down, but I forgot. I just got carried away. It can't be perfect. It won't matter too much because I'm going to put a bed of gravel in there first. That's turning up this week. A load of gravel. Just about an inch over the whole board. Smack that right down. And then put the rebar in. And then start concreting. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, mother of the rabbits. And I'll see you on the next one.